hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by hello my name is Anthea and I create fashion beauty and lifestyle videos so if you enjoy hauls unboxings reviews that kind of thing please do consider hitting the red subscribe button down below and whilst you're hitting the subscribe button please make sure you hit that notification bell that will let you know when I've uploaded any new videos and also whilst you're down there hitting the notification bell please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up that will really really help my channel so with all that out of the way let's go on with today's video in today's video I'm gonna be running through um, my relatively small designer shoe collection um, and what I did want to say is I've built this collection up over a number of years so I you know it's there are a lot of shoes here however I've not managed to buy these all in one go because one's pocket don't 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 play like that uh, and what I also wanted to mention is a lot of the shoes that I have picked up are pre-loved I do try and um, buy pre-loved where I can there are a couple of items in here that are that I bought full price or new, unused, um, but I think there's only one pair of shoes in here that I would say I've actually paid full price. I do try my best to find bargains and discounts where I can. So, with all that out of the way, all that spiel, I'm gonna start with my first pair of shoes. I have them to, one side, to the side here. <laughs> and in no particular order, so these are uh, a pair of Jimmy Choo. So, I'm sorry if the lights are it's a bit bright there but these are the Jimmy Choo and I picked these up actually um, I want to say these, these definitely were too long I picked these up from uh, this Vestia Collective and it's these Jimmy Jimmy Choo pumps and they're in a beautiful blue colour size um, I think it's European 40 now what I will say is these are a little bit snug um, I think I did consider going up half a size but I felt like if I went up half a size They'd be a little bit too big after wearing them and then stretching out so i've stuck with the us sorry the euro 40 and i am still yet to wear these unfortunately only because of obviously what everything that's been going on in the world i've not managed to get um, any kind of wear out of them uh, but hopefully going into this coming you know into 2022 i might be able to, to rock these at some stage i will be also putting some cutaways as well so you would have seen them <laughs> One on one of these sides and um, with, with them on so you can see what they are like on but they're just a beautiful classic court shoe nice pointy toe yeah I, I, I love a suede shoe I just love a suede shoe I don't know what it is about the suede shoe um, but I love them I actually in here I actually still have it has a tag in here so these are the Romy 85 suede mid heels and original price was £395 so I'll pop that there so you can see yeah I did not pay £395 for these uh, I can't quite remember actually what I did pay for them but it wouldn't have been anywhere near that but a really good deal considering and they're in excellent condition I don't think they've been worn uh, when I'd received them either so so that's I, that's shoe number one and then next we have um, a pair of Manolo Blahnik so these babies I have been eyeing up for the longest time these are one of the newer ones in I would say I picked these up probably a few months ago and these are the classic Mary Jane Ugh, in the patent leather now I'm not normally a big fan of patent leather However, in this shoe, I just felt that, yeah, it had to be patent in order for it to have the same kind of wow factor. So for those of, the, of you that are aware, these were made, I'd say very famous, for me anyway, in the Sex and the City, um, what's it, what would you call it? Um, Sex and the City series um, many years ago. So not in the films, but a part and parcel of their like, weekly you know, thing that came on. And Carrie Bradshaw was in, I think it was Vogue, and it was the elusive, Manolo and Mary Jane that no one seemed to be able to find and what I will say it has taken me forever to find these uh, I picked these up in a size 40 and a half and what I will say is after the research that I did they did say they run quite um, small so I went up half a size and I will have to say they're absolutely perfect absolutely perfect and considering the heel is relatively high when I have them on I, I feel like they're quite comfortable. I don't feel like I'm teetering or anything like that. I haven't worn these out. They have been worn slightly, so as you can see, they have a slight crease um, on the, you know, on the on the toe bit there. 
but I, I don't care. I think it's just with the style of the shoe and how pointy they are, that's inevitable that they're out. It is going to get that kind of lineage there, but it does have a small little bit of, um, if you can see that, that's a small little bit of um, like a scratch there, but I think that's nothing that I can't get repaired but I got them at a fantastic price. I picked these up on, I think it was eBay I picked these up on. Fantastic price and, you know, pretty decent cons condition considering. So, oh, I cannot, cannot wait to wear these. As I say, they're, they're, they're wearing them around the house, they do feel really comfortable. And I'm not really a heel wearer, but yeah, looking forward to wearing these without a shadow of a doubt. So next we have a pair of Gucci, Gucci. Now I did a video on these. I will leave um, the video that I did on these in the cards somewhere here so you can um, have a look if you are interested. However, I will show you what I have in here. Now these are a pair of, uh, let's see. <sighs> The Gucci Marmont Loafer in, as you can see, spandangled gold. <laughs> these are absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, I picked these up on Vestia Collective. They were brand new. Um, what I will say with these, I was after, I was torn between either the blue, because blue is my favourite colour, as I said with the Dewey Tune, but I kind of felt like the gold would just be nicer in the sense that I could probably wear these out and it's kind of bit of a just a little bit extra again I'd wear them in the day if I felt like being extra no matter to me but I didn't want to go for the too high a heel just something could, again that I could probably just wear every day and kind of uh, really jazz up an outfit or elevate I think those are the words we would use elevate an outfit so I really like the heel height and I just like the style of the shoe now what I will say is I picked this up in a European size 39 and I originally I picked them up in my usual size which is a European size 40 but they were absolutely massive 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 they were they're a whole size bigger than, than what I needed so I sold them thankfully and then I saw these I did a lot of research on these about the length of your foot and measuring and everything and I will say definitely um, if you're half a size I'd say probably I'd say half a size down, I think you'd be fine with that, but I don't, I don't know, maybe don't quote me on that, I'm not too sure, because I've never been half a size, I've never quite understood when people say, oh size will put if you're half a size, so please, don't quote me on that, please, 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 um, so yeah, but for me, I have a whole size, so I went down whole size, and these fit absolutely fantastically, um, they do need to be kind of worn in, because they're, they're quite a stiff leather, but overall, I am very happy with these. I am going to get them because um, you can get like grips put on. So I do need to get that put on them so that obviously I'm not slipping and sliding everywhere. But oh, they're just beautiful. They're just beautiful. My idea with these is like a plain white tee, slouchy jeans, and then these with whatever handbag of, um, you know, I'm carrying. Mm, can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Mm. Yeah, I can see it. So let me know which so far are your favourites, which ones are you liking, you know, which ones do you think, oh, I might have a cheeky little gander up there, maybe it's something that I might be interested in as well. So yeah, make sure you pop any kind of comments or thoughts in the comment section down below. And then next, I have another pair, oh, I didn't realise, yeah, I've got another pair of Manolo Blahnik. So these are... Another, I'd say, <laughs> classic, and I think, you know, everybody has these. I've done a video on these as well. Again, I'll pop them in, I'll pop it in the card somewhere. Now, these are the Manolo Blonic uh, Hangisi. Uh, and again, this is another take on, on the, well, not take on the Sex and the City, but another shoe that was made very famous from Sex and the City. Now, Carrie Bradshaw, the character, had them in a blue and I think those are the, the, I believe that they're iconic anyway. I have tried to find the blue, I've not managed to find them pre-loved at a decent price that is because obviously everyone knows they're quite coveted so they, you know, I feel like they tend to raise the price. Um, but I managed to pick these up in a black which I thought was really nice in the satin. I love the bling on there, it's just, look at it, it's just so gorgeous. 
I picked these up in a 40. Again, I think I picked these up on Vestia Collective. As I say, I would, I did do a video, so all the details as to where and how and all the rest of it will be in there. Heel high, it's relatively high for me. I'm not gonna lie and say that, you know, it's fantastic and comfortable, but I do, I don't find that they squeeze your foot or anything like that. Um, I do think I'd probably, I wouldn't be able to go all night in these. I, again my feet don't go like that no 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 however i think these would be nice if i was um, being picked up and then maybe walking to the restaurant and maybe walking to the toilet walking back and then walking back into the car i'd be fine with that <laughs> but i am kind of going to consider getting because i think this heel height is what a heel height is it is it 105 it says 105 on here i don't know if that means yeah 105 millimeters so i think there's um the one next down in height and i think I, if i could get those in the blue or oh i'm thinking i'm thinking of giving it yellow i don't know why I, i'm thinking a yellow oh i see did i see someone with yellow i think i did and i thought oh or green see this is what i mean i get carried away but anyway <laughs> tell, tell me which ones you what, what you're right on. do you think green or yellow which one I feel like the yellow would be really nice in the summertime. I think even the green would be really nice in the summertime. But I just can't decide which ones to kind of start stalking. So let me know what you think in the comments. Which would you suggest that I go for? The yellow or the green? Yeah, okay. So yeah, a beautiful, beautiful shoe. And uh, again, quite, I think I've managed to pick these up at a good dis discounted price on Vestia Collective. Um, but yeah, that's the um, Manolo Blahnik um, Hangisi. And then next we have these from a pair from Chloe. Again, apologies if you can't see that because the lights are so bloody bright in here. Um, but these are a pair of Chloe shoes. Now I picked these up from, um, where was these from? the Outnet. So uh, for those of you that might not know, the Outnet is a website that basically sell discounted designer fashion. So it's shoes, accessories, that kind of thing. Um, I will leave a link to the outlet down below so if you do want to kind of go on and have a little look in to see what they've got on there. I am going to do a video, my next video is going to be about that so if you are interested please make sure that you subscribe so when I do do the video you don't miss out on that. Uh -uh. Right so these are a pair of Chloe sandals. Um, oh God. They're a pair of their wedge sandals. These are absolutely stunning. Um, they wrap around your ankle, you will have seen me with them on. What I will say is, because I've got quite thin, small ankles, if you like, um, wrapping this round the actual, uh, there's not enough holes to keep it secure, so I am probably gonna have to get a hole maker or I'll take it to the cobbler or what have you to kind of put a couple more holes in there just so that it's a little bit more secure. I did pick this up in a 41 and in all fairness they fit absolutely fine. Um, just enough room because what I don't like is when your toes hanging over. I, I just don't like that. I just don't like it. And I understand obviously with the angle that each your foot's going to cut. I, I do my best not to do that so that's why I feel like with this in particular um, having it more secure around the ankle will just be, will enable me to walk better in it um, but absolutely stunning what I will say I think I picked these up um, as you can see brand new no issue and I, I'm not sure if they still sell them that I don't know but what I will say is because I do like to try and buy things at um, pre-love I've been looking for these on the pre-love site and the cost for them have been extortionate extortionate um, and so these are actually cheaper than some of the pre-loved ones that I've seen on websites so the brand new ones were cheaper than buying them of someone that we used so I'm just saying the outnet definitely worth looking into definitely worth looking into and then next we have these and these are from Alexander McQueen now these babies oh, I ha I, what I will say is I had to end up picking these up brand new so there's no discount on these I picked these up from I think it was Selfridges um, last year I did manage to find um, a couple pairs online pre-loved um, 
however when I got them just the size wise they weren't quite right so it was one of them where I could have kept them and they would have been uncomfortable or I just wouldn't have reached for them so therefore it would have been a waste of money so I decided you know what I'll go into store into Selfridges and try a couple pairs on just to see if I could get the right the right fit uh, what I will say that they are funny sizes um, these I picked up in a size my usual size would have been because I was a, yeah, size 40. Now, when we was in store, I was torn between getting the 39 and the 40. And when I put on the 39 and a half, they fit, but I felt like they were a little bit too snug. Now, it, part and parcel this was like, well, maybe they'll give, but then I was thinking, well, what if they don't? Because they're quite a hard, they're quite a hard leather, um, and I wasn't sure how they would give. So I thought, you know, I'd rather get my true to size, which is, is a 40. Um, what I will say, they do slip a little bit, but what I am going to do is get like an inner sole and I think that might help just to kind of make them, you know, not your foot not moving them as much. Uh, but what I will say, the, this bit on the front, the tongue, it's quite hard and it, the way it's angled, as if you can see, it, it's kind of, it's, it's straight out. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but it's, it's straight out. So that bit it digs, in your, digs in your foot or in, the, in your like ankle bit, front bit of your foot. So they're not the most comfortable new. Um, I am ha hoping that after I wear them quite a few times, um, they it will soften up, which I, 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 I'm sure it will. It's just one of them. It's, it's brand new. I think I've worn it once. Um, and um, it, like I say, it's quite a hard leather. So the more I wear it, I'm sure the more they'll kind of soften up a little bit. Um, but I, I just love these, I just love the simplicity of them, I think they're real just chunky, stylish kind of way to wear a trainer and I managed, I picked it up in the rose gold just because I wasn't too sure on colour, I was going to go with my usual blue and then I thought mm, no, I don't know, do I go with a metallic but then I didn't want gold, I didn't want silver so I thought you know what let me get a rose gold and that kind of, it, it, it kind of satisfies me wanting something that's I suppose easily wearable. That's, that's kind of what I was mindful of. I didn't want something that I was going to think, oh, it don't match with this and don't match with that. I just thought that's no brainer. No brainer. So, yeah. So, very, very happy with them. And oh, what I will say as well, it come, they come with um, a pair of replacement laces, which is also good. But I mean, I've not worn them out of the house. So, it looks like I've just picked it off the shelf. Well, technically, they did. <laughs> Now these are, oh my god, now this one is a massive box and these are from the company Gaia, um, Gaia and Pernelli Teesbeck, tees Teesbeck, I think I tried, Teesbeck, get the ga G Gaia, Gia, whatever, I'll put it on the screen, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link them in the, the description bar anyway, so you can go and have a little look, I'll put them in order as, 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 as I've done these. Uh, but anyway, so these are a pair of boots that I picked up, um, oh sorry, and these are a pair of boots that I picked up a little while back and they are absolutely beautiful. So you, some of you may have seen these, some of you may not have seen these. Now these are, oh, okay. I haven't worn them yet as, as usual, um, only because again, I've not been anywhere. Um, and I wanted to record this video before <laughs> before wearing them, so I've just had them in the in the wardrobe and not and not thought to, to put them on. But these are absolutely stunning. So again, it's giving you that um, like tractor or whatever kind of sole, big rubber sole. They are 100% leather. They look fantastic on. I, I kind of bought these because in the UK, when it comes to the weather, it's very up and down. Even in spring, you can, can get rainy days and wet days and things like that. So these are an item in my wardrobe that I will constantly wear, just potentially throughout the year. Um, you know, the, these look great, obviously, with um, jeans. Um, they'll look fantastic. I, I was thinking, like, a, even going into spring, I think they'd look really nice with, like, a little, um, like, dress, quite short dress or what have you. Uh, so I think there's very there's quite a few ways to style these throughout the, the year and I don't have to just necessarily wear them 
in the winter or in colder months now these are the leather is fantastic really smooth nice leather and i picked them up in my usual size which would be a 40 and they fit fantastically really comfortable really comfortable uh, no qualms with that so i picked these up from flannels i believe and I think they were on offer actually at the time when I picked them up. But because it was so long ago, I doubt that they're still on offer now, so apologies for that. But what I will do is if I can find um, them anywhere, I will link them in the description box for you down below so you can have a little look. And um, there are obviously a lot of, um, so I don't, I hate calling them dupes, <laughs> but um, it, the ones, there's others inspired by this look, so you can get them very similar um, at a lower price point across the board from a lot of different retailers so I will try and find some of those as well and put them in the um, description box below as well so you've got um, your options if you can, as I say if I can find them discounted I'll, I'll you know obviously I'll put them there but also I'll give you some alternatives for you to kind of have a look at as well if you, you're not able to get to that which I get you know there's a lot of things I want and I can't get <laughs> so I appreciate sometimes we have to you know go a different route before we can go the route that we want to go so yeah so that's that so my lovelies that is everything that is my i won't say my entire um design shoe collection i do have a couple other bits and bobs but those are the main ones that i wanted to share with you, with you today um, and those are the ones that i, I would say i'm supposed most excited for um, so again let me know in the comment section down below which one out of everything i've shown you today are your favorites um what are you going to be starting your designer shoe collection with you know what's kind of first on your list or next on your list and again if there is any questions on anything i've shown you please do again put them in the comments section and i'd be more than happy to answer anything that i actually can um i will leave another video at the end of this one for you to take a look at and again please do make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below before you leave also make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and also if you did end up liking the video please do make sure you hit that thumbs up and i will see you in my next video guys bye